in a Discord server far, far away. Ligaya decided to embark on a quest to become a great dungeon master for Dungeons and Dragons. Armed with only a basic knowledge of the game and YouTube videos, she embarked on an epic tale. She encountered many obstacles, like being too lazy to read any of the books, a Matt Mercer inferiority complex, and quarantine. Despite mostly railroading her players for most of the campaign because she wasn't that good, she is determined to gain experience because she wants to be the very best like no one ever was. To DM is her request, to have fun is her cause. Her players will travel across the land, searching far and wide, each story beat to understand before all of them dies. Welcome to her first campaign as a DM, originally meant to be a one-shot that just got longer and longer the more she planned. This is an all-human campaign where their class is kind of randomized. It's also inspired by the real-life volcano Mount Cristobal in the Philippines. However, please note that it's 100% not an accurate depiction of the real-life volcano. It's extremely loosely based on it. This is part 1 of session 0.5. Why is it 0.5? Because it goes through what normally happens during session 0s, but mixed with an introduction to the campaign so the players get to find out what their class is and finalize their character sheets. At this point, she doesn't know any of her players' characters yet. Am I making any sense? Is this intro long enough? I, I don't know. It's gonna make sense eventually, probably. Enjoy. Somewhere in the grass of the Pacific Ring of Fire, in the heart of the Philippine Islands, surrounded by a plethora of flora and fauna, lies a notorious volcano, Mount San Cristobal, or as the locals call it, the Devil's Mountain. Many tales of horror and mystery surround this enigmatic mountain, with stories that detail people disappearing, going insane, or dying a tragic and gruesome death. Still, many mountaineers are beckoned by the mountain, drawn by the promise of praise and acclaim from conquering its cursed peaks. You are a group of mountaineers, seduced by the call of this mountain. Despite locals warning you at every corner to turn away, you are determined to climb up the mountain and make it out alive. So you see this, like, a bit sketchy, a bit sketchy of a man around 20, 21, 22 years old. Nobody knows. And he's on the ground, like looking at something peculiar. And if you look at social expense inspection, it's just it's just dirt. He's just looking at dirt. But he's like he has like a magnifying glass looking around. And then he go he like suddenly stands up and like this is fascinating. Huh. Okay. So he looks at like he looks at like a smile and like and he's just like, ah, oh, fine day, gentlemen. I'm here to investigate the mountain. I'm trying to find some clues to my great escapade. The name is Jimbo. I'm here. I, I've been here for a while. Not really too particular about the time, but I have been here. And he just like goes back and inspecting the ground. Huh. Hello, fine sir. I am Ismail. Apparently, I am a 32-year-old washed-out boxer who used to rule the world of boxing, but soon retired when my wife was abducted by... There's no way to explain this, but... Abducted by interdimensional beings. And since the rumor started, we're in these mountains have plethora of whatever. It is making it... Scary mountain, then so be it. I am on a quest to find my wife. Oh, well, that is very much certainly uh, a good thing because I'm also trying to find the extraterrestrial beings or rumors of them being in this mountain. Then we must, we must probably have, or we more or less have the same goal. I see, I see. 
this is very good, this is very good. And I just continue like going back to the ground. And you see Jimbo just kind of like getting a bit of ground or like a bit of dirt and then like nibbling on it, tasting. He's kind of look at you dumbfounded. Who the hell eats dirt? Oh well, as long as <laughs> I have someone who has the same goal as I do, so be it. Desperate. <laughs> But like, imagine meeting someone like a stranger and then he just kind of eats dirt. Nice. You may be quite uh, fascinated by, by, by what I'm doing, but I assure you that is very imp- uh, is very important to the investigation happening right now, my dear sir. It continues to double back on the dirt. If you say so, I just kind of follow you around behind. Very interesting character, Ed. <laughs> Thank you. So, are are you guys ready to finally start your trek up the mountain? Yeah. How about you, do? Let's go. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! The sun just came out to shine on that sunny morning as you make it to the foot of the mountain and begin your trek. Things seem to be going well. The trees are rustling in the cool wind. Different shades of green litter your eyes. The path you're taking has clearly been used a bunch of times, as no grass grows, and there are a few candy wrappers and plastic cups thrown about. The path is quite uneven, and it's bumpy enough that you can trip if you make the wrong step. After a few minutes of walking, all of you feel calm and at ease. Maybe the stories are just silly folk tales told by silly locals, you think to yourself. You feel the wind brush against your face. You're starting to not feel the weight of the gear you're carrying, and everything feels just as it should be. But suddenly, you realize that the trees stop rustling and the birds stop chirping. You can no longer feel the cool breeze that embraces you on your journey so far. In the distance, you see an old couple. They're looking at you and they're waving. They look like a regular old couple, but there's something about them that feels off somehow. So, what do you do? I like look at this smile and like a uh, by Joe to be we throw rocks at them. And I look surprised. Dude, we just we just kind of met them. Why do you want to throw rocks at them? They're old people. The suspicious old people, my dear smile. I mm-hmm. did not approach them more kindly. Okay, we will try your way. But If they seem to be more suspicious than we thought, then I have my rocks ready and I like pick up rocks. And I shakes my head and then, okay, fine. Then we kind of walk slowly towards the old couple. Hello there, young sirs. If you haven't heard, this is quite the dangerous mountain. I suggest that you come back," said the old lady as you approach them. <laughs> With my rocks ready, I'm like. Ah, uh, well, we are here to investigate a few things. We have a few things that we are related to in this mountain. Uh, I don't think we can go back for the time being. The old lady looks at the old man beside her. Um, I suggest you don't do that. Please, just come down the mountain. It is... You will see... Well, I have seen nothing yet so far, and... um. It seems quite peaceful. I don't see why you two have to do anything to uh, change this the scenery here. Wait, sorry, what did the old man say? I I don't see why you two have to climb this mountain. Um, please just go down and continue your business elsewhere. Well, if I. Would like to say this point this out as well, but I don't see why you two should be climbing these mountains. I kind of back up, Jimbo. That's yeah. kind of true. I mean, you tell us to go down, but then you're kind of just you know, staying here. I mean, what's the harm? I mean, it seems like you're here. What's stopping us? 
Well, we've, we've been here for a long time. Don't you think you should go back to where you came from? You are far too young and far too ignorant to be up in this mountain. Hmm, that is true. But it is ignorance that we are trying to get rid of, I will say, madame. And I back up Jimbo again. Yeah, I, Plus, I, I, I back we up have... well. <laughs> Plus, we do have a mission to fulfill. It does not concern any of your matter. We may take your advice, but I don't think we will. You should go back. I don't see why your ignorance has any bearing on what happens to this mountain whatsoever. And as far as I can tell, just go back. You can go to other mountains, not here, where this mountain is very precious. Just do not. Okay, do you wanna, do you wanna like push forward with this one or do you wanna like... <laughs> Oh no, we try to argue our way in. I mean, is this the yeah. only way in? Yeah, I don't know. We, I don't think we could sneak past them anytime soon as well because. Right. So we argue more, and then I tell them my backstory as to why we need or I need to climb this mountain. Please. Oh, we can, we can, we can. Yeah, we can make them sympathize. Let's try it. Do we have the role for that, or? I mean, you can try just telling us. <laughs> okay, that's true. Okay, uh, well, my friend here has a very compelling reason as to why we have to go in, why we cannot go back. Please, I beg you, dear ma'am, for my wife's been missing for quite a while now, and I have a great deal of evidence that she has been kidnapped by interdimensional beings, and I, along with my partner here, have a good reason to believe that there are interdimensional beings here, and we must push through. I have to find my wife. And he has to investigate. I have to investigate, yes. You ignorant fools. Well, I, I did say we were ignorant earlier, madam. I don't know what you're... You're just hurting our feelings now. Did you please stop with the ignorant? <laughs> I, I just want to go in. You fools. You have no respect for the earth that birthed you. Feel the anger of the volcano erupting, swallowed by the consequences of your disrupting. The only way for your soul to be free is to listen to all of the cries of the trees. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, the ground beneath your feet disappeared and a huge chasm opened up and swallowed both of you without warning. As you're falling... Yeah? I tried to throw the rock at their direction. <laughs> I'm falling. Throw a rock at the old couple, and then you see the old man catch the rock, and then just looks at you and smiles as both of you fall to the ground. You see them waving at you, smiling eerily, and you are quite unsure what you're thinking about. What? Can I wave back? Sure. <laughs> Alright, I wave back. You wave back. And they don't notice, and then suddenly everything goes black.